Ugh, never take my advice, man. Advice? Welcome to Curiosity Public. My name is Dutch. My name is Jules. Delightful, humble, Dylan. Look at my face. Genuine. Doesn't doesn't help. Genuine. Not making it better. <laughs> but welcome to yet another episode of our ultimate spirits competition, our quest to review every sipping spirit on the face of the planet and subject it to our crazy hard 100 point scoring system. And in this episode, it's Suntory time. To the world. Suntory, ow. Do you know what that means? No. Ow. Is that like Prince's former name? No. <laughs> No, that's not Michael Jackson. <laughs> I thought it was uh, a trash can. <laughs> I thought it was a trash can. Uh, it uh, means blue. Oh, and the box is blue. Yeah. In what language? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? Uh, what, Jeff, what, Jeff. <laughs> what do you think, Sherlock? <laughs> well, it's world whiskey. I mean, it could be from anywhere in the world, literally, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is a new yeah, offering yeah. from Centauri. It is, <laughs> it's a slang language. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> It's a blend of many different, uh, here, you can put it in the box. Um, blend of m many different. <laughs> Actually, look at it. Look at that. I like this thing here. Uh, the little divider. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's a great looking bottle. Like, I really, I love the shape of this thing. Here, we'll get a close up of the bottle here. Centauri World Whiskey. You can see it's Irish, Scotch, American, Canadian, and Japanese whiskeys. 86 proof. This is a 700 milliliter bottle uh, on the back. There's a little more info there on the label. And it looks like a baseball diamond, right? Yeah, like the the shape is really cool. Like, look at that. Like, it's look at that. It's oh, look at it. It's a diamond, like a our diamond. competition. Is it gonna end up scoring diamond? Mm, no. No. Maybe not. <laughs> what a tease. Um, all right, I'm gonna get us poured. It is a screw top, and it's a very nice color, blue and gold. But uh, I'll get us poured, Dylan. You got anything else on this? Yeah, uh, I do. Um, look at this. <laughs> got nice heft. So where did this come from? Well, it came from the uh, world. The world, yeah. Ardmore, uh, I think Glen Garrick, Gary up. This is going green. Cooley, wait, I'm just trying to look. Like Cooley, Alberta, words. Beam, Yamazaki, and Hakushu. Glen Garrick. Yeah. So Canada. I was trying to figure out which Glen, but yeah. Anyway. Well, um, we're going to get tasting this, and uh, that's it? That's all you got on it? I know. It's just Jeez. a blend of all no. these different... Yeah, so it, this was a travel exclusive. Mm. Um, if you remember, uh, for people who travel a lot, this is uh, available in the um, Duty -free? Uh, Narita Airport, I think. Oh. I think, a long time ago. Anyway. That's in Tokyo, right? <sighs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> what language do they speak, Dutch? Doesn't everybody speak English? Wow. Okay, so uh, it's nice that it's it, it has come to the United States. Uh, I got this at Costco um, on sale for fifty four ninety nine or something nice. like that. So but the warehouse average is about sixty world. bucks. Yeah, so I you know I picked this up. I didn't have much in terms of expectations, uh, and uh, you and I had this. I've, I tried it too with you. Yeah. yeah. So we've oh, all yeah. tried this before. Yeah. So you and we'll I too. Why? And it's had some time to open up. There's a little bit out of the bottle now, obviously. So we're coming back to it now. We're going to score it. Now, for members of Curiosity Private, either here on YouTube or over on Patreon, we're going to be comparing this in a taste-off to uh -oh. this Japanese whiskey from another distillery in Japan. Uh, this is Nika Takatsuru Pure Malt. It is a blended Japanese whiskey. Of course, the AO is Japanese whiskey plus a lot of other stuff, so I don't know how similar they're really going to be, but we kind of struggled to find a good comparison for it. No, and we did not struggle. We, know we did not struggle. Uh, I said, we need to compare this with Ichiro World Whiskey. Now, comment below why I am correct, but Dutch is like, no! I mean, I have to deal with that every day. He literally goes... <laughs> his, his mouth goes when he objects to so, my astute so recommendation. Don, uh, where's your bottle of that Yoichi? Oh, not Yoichi. Or yo, uh, what is it? Ichiro. Where's your Again. bottle? Where? You can hear it, folks. Right? Where's your bottle of Ichiro? Where's the bottle? Uh, if you had brought that, then we could do that. It's but... it's four point five miles away from here. <laughs> so you had to go buy 
$200 whiskey to compare to this $60 whiskey, which you for some reason think is a better idea than comparing it to another $60 whiskey from the rival distillery. Oh. Comment below who's right. Who's right. No, I think oh. you're right, but we don't have that bottle here. So we're going to compare it to this, and members of Curiosity Private get to see that and more of this ridiculous pickering. Shenanigans. Now That's gonna, and Dylan show. Now we're going to taste. <laughs> All right. So there was very little bickering in the, in the live stream. It's good. That has evolved, actually. Maybe we should have done a diluted Nico straight from the barrel. I've heard it's changed a lot in the more recent batches. So I'm hesitant to use the one we have here because it's so old. I was really quiet. Like, we didn't discuss this at all. Yeah. It required laser focus. All right, we've had some time to taste. We've all scored this independently. We haven't discussed it. In fact, we didn't really talk at all while we were tasting this. So just no, kind of uh, siloed. We're all in the zone, I guess. But Dutch was making that noise, though. Which one? <laughs> 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 That's just the sound of me breathing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I take one breath at the beginning of the show before it starts and one yeah. at the end. Uh, all like right. A, he's like a dolphin. Let's get our initial scores. Uh, of course, everything can change, but before we do that, Jules, why don't you tell everybody at home our scoring criteria. <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> this is all new for me, guys. Uh, we have a 100-point um, grading system across 10 categories that include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. Most are 10 points each. However, flavor, we weigh at 20 points, and then value and aesthetics at 5 points uh, each. And you can medal in our competition if you go to 60 and up. We go from bronze, silver, gold, to diamond. My initial score... 78. 79. 79. Wow. 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 We are like, uh, I mean, I'm only a point off. No wonder we're all laser wow. focused. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let's get into this because this is a very interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> that word again. But it's, it's, I hate to use the other word that you always use. It's very academic. Very mm. academic. And uh, it suffers in some categories for that, and mm -hmm. it excels in others because of that, which is very interesting. Yeah, so, after we do whole, the whole thing, I'll give another anecdote. Um, sure. Because I, this is actually my third bottle. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, let's kick it off with Aroma 6. 7. 7. This is a 7. Mm. This is a 7. You know, I, I, I know where you guys are coming from, but you know what's weird about it is... There, and this will be a recur recurring theme, is that there's aspects of all of these different kinds of whiskeys yeah. in this dram. Yeah. But for some reason, the scotch comes through on the nose, and it smells like cheap scotch. Mm. Like like red label. I think, I think th this score, it depends on whether you're going to weigh uh, the balancing of the aroma uh, higher and therefore give you a lower score in the end. Because in terms of the breadth, I think you would agree that it is quite broad. Uh, I think, again, it's, it's because it's, it's there broad, are so many different things. The flavors are not really punching. They're, they're kind but, of subtle. But they're there. Yeah, they're and that's there. why so it's interesting. So I flopped a lot on this, right? So yeah. originally, I, didn't um, flop on this at all, I, got, I gave it an eight even mm. because, like, whoa, there's a lot happening. What did and you get then, first? But see, hold on real quick. I'm going to just say, I think it also just depends the mood you're in. Yeah. Because then eventually I even dropped it down to a six. Because mm. like, uh, you know what, when I laser focus on just one thing, like, uh, that's all it really is. But then that's why I waffled in between and landed on that seven. Because I think the breath is big, it depends on what mood you're in and what you're going to laser focus on. Mm. Because when you get the scotch, oh, I'm getting the scotch elements. When I get, you know, like the Japanese, I'm getting the Japanese. You know, I'm getting even just like nice grape, mm. I don't know, you know, that, that, all this, that kind this, of stuff. The and cheap scotch thing just predominated. I, it wasn't and really cheap. It didn't land as cheap. Once I got that, I couldn't smell anything else. And I think yeah. that's my problem. But see, I, I think that's why. I felt like this is like an aroma version of like a Rorschach. Yeah, 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 where yeah, totally. like you it's can kind of see if yeah. you if you think about it because yeah. I, I mean, remember I can understand a six seven or an eight on this I really yeah, can me I too just, so. yeah and you know when I looked at, when I nosed this the first time the first bottle I've had I was getting just overwhelming Irish yeah it was just Irish apple yeah, yeah, apple you know apple, apple. apple. last night and yeah. I got a lot more Irish and then now for some reason I'm just all I can smell that's why though I think yeah. it, it and then and then, on the and mood. then today yeah. it was more. The Ardmore, mm. um, you know, a little bit of the Scotch, I would agree. Yeah. And then I didn't get much in terms of the American, the yeah. bean. Yeah. I didn't get any yeah, of the Yeah, the American's bean. weak. So, yeah, that's why it's a seven for me. Yeah. All right, so we're not that far off. Let's move on to flavor. Um, I ended up at a 16. I gave it a 16. I gave it a 16. I originally gave it a 16, then I landed on 17. I see that. So, because I think... 
again, I think it just depends on the mood I'm in and then, you know, how it goes down because it changed a lot for me. Yeah. yeah. You know, because, again, similar to the Roma experience, like there were things. So I think that's why you guys nailed it earlier with um, an overall description of this is academic because different things come out at different times. Yeah, I mean, there, there was clear categories. There was a clear spice coming through. There was a black pepper that kind of would come in and out. Like some, like I just I tasted say, it again, it's, and it was not there. consistent. It's not yeah. consistent. Yeah, and that's the and thing. then the light fruit. Yeah, yeah. there's the apple, maybe like a peach, yeah, but like great. it's it's none of them are particularly bold. Yeah, they're, they're not all strong kind enough. Kind of like to hints hold. of it here yeah. and there. I felt like you got a slightly um, more sweetness that you would typically mm. get in a pure Japanese or pure other whiskeys mm. and i feel like that's where the beam kicks in maybe i feel like the beam was used to it's the foundation kind of, almost. Yeah, yeah cut the bitterness cut the kind of the the rough edges of the other whiskeys yeah. and the beam provided that that little hint of sweetness that comes in um it's just like the undercurrent it's just always there and that's that was really nice. See, I don't know. So that's where I don't agree. I don't think it was always there. I think it like it waffled for me. I think the reason mm-hmm. I can't give it higher is because I couldn't package it into a profile. Yeah. Like it's hard for me to it's say. Hard to write down tasting notes. For yeah, this. I, I would say, yes. oh, this owl, yeah. this this thing is, I, like to describe it, like this is it. This is what mm. they're. This is the theme. Here it's more like, well, let's just get everything together into a nice dram and is it together. So it's I an onion. It it's got all these layers. Is it a glass onion, though? Ooh, I hope not. All right, let's move on to body <laughs> seven. Seven. Yeah, I wrote it down. Didn't change it. Body seven. Yeah, yeah. good. Not not great. Little th- little thin, but coats the palate reasonably well for what it is. For yeah, as low proof as it is, too. Good, not great. Not great. Yeah, fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay, complexity. I did waffle here, and I did settle on an eight. Me too. I, I give it a ten. I originally had a nine. I gave it a ten. But I'm going to tell you why I came down. Okay. Uh, it's funny. I give it a nine, seven, then landed on eight. Really? So. Yeah, I started at nine as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I came back to it, and I think it's the same thing I was talking about in flavor, which is that they're just too subtle. Mm-hmm. And, so you, you still get it. But you can't really tell and it, it, if it's, it's actually what it if, is. What it is, because yeah, I come back to it, I'm like, wait, that's be. not really there. Yeah. What is that? What, what's going on? It was too confusing. I don't know. Well, you have to identify it for the complexity component. Well, complexity okay. is just if one of my sips is a is a nine, one of my sips is a six, and one of my six is, sips is a ten. I'm gonna end up somewhere around an eight, which yeah. is what I did. Like I mean, it, just, that's it was exactly inconsistent. Exactly how it landed for me. Th- yeah. This this is consistent with my experience with the Ichiro. Um, it was very very like the breadth is there. I feel like mm. I, I there's there's mm. this isn't uh, when you said it was academic, yeah, right? I, I see the breadth. But when I'm tasting it, which, which is the reason why the flavor score is where it is, is like you get these kind of, um, uh, it's like a, almost like a sliding scale mm-hmm. to a degree, right? You're, you're, you're experiencing this right here and this year at another time going back and saying. forth. The, here's the reason why it's not a 10 though. It's that the, none of those flavors are deep enough mm-hmm. to truly be complex. You don't have the full spectrum of any sweet flavor there. There's well, so then hints. what is it? So I'm, I'm arguing that this is a perfect and complex. In I think to be complexity. perfect, think, think Doors 32. Think how deep yeah. those flavors are. You get the entire spectrum All right. of the flavor. Right. This You don't get it. Like okay. It's just too You light. convince me. I'll go down to nine. Yeah, I get a nine. I understand nine, but it, this is not perfect. Dutch wins! No, I didn't get him down to an eight. But... <laughs> Thanks for your help. Um, <laughs> you don't need my help at all. Why am I here? I <laughs> man, dude. Uh, okay, guys, next category, balance. I also waffled on this, but I ended up at a seven. seven. I gave it an eight. I feel like I this is eight. what you're paying for. I thought so, but then I, kept, I come back uh, to the consistency but thing. But it's consistent, yeah. I kept here. getting, like, I had He's three sips in a row right, where no. the spice component was outweighing consistent. everything else. Yes. I'm giving extra point. Uh, this is for our viewers. I, I'm giving an extra this point. You did viewers. already for the complexity, and that's why I think it's a problem. Not on the balance, then. That's just, you yourself admitted, the scale keeps moving. Yes. Well, I mean, it's not balanced. I agree. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you talking? Here, listen. <laughs> so I gave I an extra something. point because I've seen this go wrong. That's the thing. I've seen it go wrong, and and it goes wrong in many, many other releases. They did not go wrong in this. I have to give them extra points. See, I didn't because they just turned everything down to make it easier. That's what no, I feel like. I it's, or everything so. just naturally that's a gets turned too down harsh. when you blend all of I think things. that's a little too harsh. I don't know. I think a seven's a good score. Yeah, it's agree. five different, um, five different, and like how many right. distilleries? No. One, two, three, four, five, he's six, he's actually right. seven, no. eight distilleries. You I'm, have to take eight you're right. different nah, flavors, right. and the the 
Look, we in in this. Hey, Dylan. It's okay. I'm gonna go to an eight. All right. Hey, Dylan. Our group. I'm staying at seven. <laughs> Our group <laughs> is a, is about oh, celebrating the craft. Please. Right. This is an example of craft. Right. This is the. I want to. I want to understand the master class in, in blending. And here we are. <laughs> gonna break the sense of that you don't show. That's why I gave it an extra point, and let's move on. Okay, let's move on. Great. Uh, finish. Seven. Gave it a six. Seven. Six. I thought the duration no, was really it's, good. Yeah. Like me it's too. it really lingers, and none of the flavors that linger are bad. It's just not no. very intense. And the flavors kept changing. So again, yeah. that's and, gonna I, be the theme here, guys. This, this is thing. the part where I I was disappointed. Mm. That wasn't and, and the reason for that no. is because the finish was fine. Where the where the variability in the flavor, it didn't help this release. Like the the finish then became very very chaotic, and it became almost bitter to some degree. I didn't get that because get that it, some of the flavors would drop off, mm. and it would reveal the uh, young components of the spirits, the different. Parts of the spirit, the young components start to come out. That's what I got on the nose. I did and, not get that on the palate. And that's why flesh. I gave it a six. I, I felt like this is not where it was wanting. It I was mean, lacking. Uh, I had an eight originally. I, I think no, it, that, the duration. I, is... I think you guys are way off. Well, so like, of being, way off six. by one yeah. point. Speaking <laughs> of being way off, let's get to the next category: uniqueness. You guys are gonna yell at me. I give it a ten. I'm tempted. I give it an eight. I gave it an eight. I mean, look at this bottle, I guys. It. I, I mean, give it another point I was for the bottle. Wrestling. I know. I was Gotta give it a point for this that. bottle. This bottle is beautiful. <sighs> I mean, I'm thinking Nika straight thing. from the barrel, right? I mean, it has look. other components in it. Uh, I, I'm thinking eight Ichiro. world whiskeys, man. Yeah, all combined. Ichiro is like the only other thing I can think of. And this is a quarter of the price. Damn. Sold. That all right. Well, I don't going know. Up. What's more unique okay, than blending fine, fine, eight fine. different going kinds up. of whiskeys together? I'll give it a nine. Going up. I'll give it a nine. Me too. I'll go up one. Yeah, you convinced me. Yeah, it is unique. It's and extremely unique. Yeah. It's yeah. not the best whiskey. But not it's, thinking the value. This, I know, I am too. But this is like, this sits on your shelf. This, Like, we struggled to come up with something to compare it to. Yeah. That's I mean, very really. unique. Yeah, there's one well, thing there's that exists. One thing, we can't dude. get it today. So. Well, you said we struggled, but I did not struggle, so I'm okay. truthful. Does Dylan ever struggle? I mean, he's got his own island. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to drinkability. Uh, you know, despite everything we said, I gave it an eight. I Me gave too. it an eight. eight. I want to keep coming back to this. Okay, so this is where the anecdote comes but is it in. Not... You know what it is? It's, it's like being on a roller coaster, where yeah. you don't really know where it's going to go, yeah. but at the end of the ride, you're like, let's do that again. No. <laughs> you know? uh, Definitely. But it... then you do hit your point. Yeah, I could hit it. And that's why it's not perfect. That's why yeah. it's not it's a not tip. perfect. Yeah. My third bottle, uh, the second bottle was shared by three people. We finished the entire bottle in one hour. Wow. That it's, was it's that and, and I will say, I will quote uh, the one person said, One of your whiskey this adjacent is, friends. This is like, this is the most wonderful thing. And f for the birthday. Mm. It was a birthday. It was uh, like, yeah, this is a wonderful yeah. thing. And basically, Drink about half of that. Wow. Yeah, so. yeah I, I, that's you know, why drinkability, I think, it, it, is. Yeah, I agree. Is up it's there. very high. Yeah. I, we yeah. all, all have the same take, I think. Okay, guys, aesthetics. This is a five. I love this bottle. Five. Really? I gave it a four. No. The only crazy. thing I would. Is the, the screw top, but, I, but still, you know what? I, I mean, still, I, I get it. You know what, the make, diamond shape, you I'd, even commented on it, mirroring I just, our I just don't like score. the plastic. Yeah. And this is something that all the all the Centauri stuff. Yeah, the is, moving towards. Know, it's fine. Unique, uh, yeah. a lot I, of I, don't, I don't take points off because it's a, it's a twist. I love the I bottle know. shape. I love the way it feels I in your hand. I just, that. I like the way you it's yourself unique. were just talking know. about the box, man. And the, just the the, 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 the blue. And the whole thing is called blue. blue. Diamond. I don't know. I, I really think it looks great. All right, fine. I'll give it. A, you got go up. I'll go up. Wow. You're right. Uh, this guy's too easy. To Final <laughs> category, value. I five. give it a four. Five. I give it a four. Five. It's a strong four. Five. Five why, why, why? It's perfect. I mean, for what you're getting, a blend, again, how unique it is, eight bucks, great presentation, or eight Six. bucks. Okay. Hey, what, is what, the, what, what is the actual price country? Of 60 bucks, right? 60 bucks, yeah. Wait, so... so At Costco, okay, wait, 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 wait. the world's warehouse. This is, this is, this is where... Come on. This is what I see. <laughs> this is what I see. Um, the value comes from getting access to a Suntory blender, a Suntory craftsmanship. To me, you know, it's about so, it's about learning that it's about 
experiencing that and you're experiencing that blending technique at a affordable price. So this way, you could have easily speaking. charged 100 bucks for this. They're not. It's sub 100, guys. Yeah. For that craftsmanship, true. for okay. the artistry. Remember this bottle right here? Yeah. 20 bucks. 30. 30 bucks. This is totally worth twice the price of this. Completely agree. So much better. You just convinced yourself. Gosh. Did I? That's what I'm wondering. Is that really, is that a five or is that a four? A four is really good. That's a five. But this has a singular intent too, to be mixed. True, to be mixed. Am I going to buy this again? Probably. Yeah. I probably will too. Uh, and will you drink honestly, it regularly you know with what, though? company? Here's For my, me, here's at my this problem. price, yeah. Ultimately, it still tastes more like a $40 to $50 whiskey to me. I mean, I get that, like, especially because you know, when you said you got the off-putting parts of some, like well, Johnny, Johnny Black. But it's like, you know, yeah. Yeah, it does. Johnny Black is a 12-year age-dated scotch. Uh, is this a value compared to something like that? It's different. How about Nika Street from the Barrel? Where it's not pure Japanese. Yeah, more expensive. More expensive. It's mixed. And much but it's, proof. it's a higher proof, though. I agree. I, I'm, I'm comfortable with my four. I don't think I'm going to change. Yeah, I think four is a good number. Strong four. Right. Strong. I, I see the five. I can see the five. Mark a okay. correction here. I can see the five. All right, let me double. And we'll get our final tally here for Centuni. Centuni. Centuri Al. Uh, I settled on a 79. 80. 79. Wow, look at that, guys. Which gives us our official Curiosity Public score for Santoni. Santoni. Santori. How disrespectful. <laughs> no, I'm just dyslexic, man. Santori out. Again, disrespectful for our dyslexic <laughs> colleagues. Like me? Because he is one? Uh, 79. <laughs> I mean, almost, uh, almost a gold, guys. I try to push it, guys. I it's, try to push it's right there. I mean, that's that's right the right there. score. It's it's yeah. deserving of a very strong high. Surprising. Silver. This was a surprise. Yeah, I bought this on a whim. I, I would have thought this was a bras. Bras. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, dude. Oh, oh my bras. Suntony. I would have blonde. <laughs> the beginning of the day folks oh man 9 a.m is pretty hard uh, dude. all right yeah maybe i need more coffee but anyway um good showing here mm -hmm. jules please take us out before i mispronounce anything else <laughs> pronounce <laughs> oh my goodness that one i did on purpose jeez oh jeez tell us what you guys think of the my comments comedy is below. like way too high for you guys no, it is uh, it's too more smart. it's more oh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna believe that <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, let us know how you feel about this episode. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. If you want to help us out, please consider joining our Patreon. We'll have a link. And also Curiosity Private, the membership program here on YouTube. We also have a podcast and all the major podcast platforms. Oh, we're also selling t-shirts. Like that. T-shirt links will be in the description. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. This move was. <laughs> Stick it to him. Oh man, what a train wreck there. That's yeah. awesome. How could I not talk? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Can I not Actually, talk? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this video is going to ever see the light, but uh, I did your job in one of the videos. Oh, the, what's in yeah, the box? It was, it was much more uh, succinct. Oh, I don't doubt that. Yeah. But he's like, I'm, I'm Jules. This is what I say. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm and I, 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 No, no, no. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yeah. <laughs> you got to get it right.